All right, so I will once again switch over to the Ignition Gateway web pages here, where the configuration is, and show two different ways of connecting two items. So we have an OPC UA server that's built into Ignition, which basically means that uh, for anything that we have drivers for, you can connect directly to those drivers and to these devices. So we have um, somewhere around 10 different driver suites that have a variety of drivers inside them, Alan Bradley, DMP3, Siemens, Modbus, and if I happen to have a, um, let's say I had a uh, Allen Bradley Logix device, which is this top one, which is most of the new um, Allen Bradley drivers uh, created today, I could come in, say I'm connecting up to uh, a Micrologix uh, 1100 maybe, uh, probably be named by based on the area that you're in, um, but I'll do a 10.20.7.77, which I happen to know is inside our network. Um, if I connect up to that, we can see we're connected and we're idle right there. We're connected to a couple of other things from this server. And if I switch over to the designer that I just launched a, a few minutes ago, and this will look familiar, you can see that this is now inside my configured devices. So I can browse down to this, I can take a look at that device. If I want to pull these tags in, I can pull them in over here into uh, the ignition tag system. And then I can use these in a variety of different ways. So I could say maybe alongside my table that I created earlier, I want to have this information showing up um, right alongside it. So I can drag this in and now I get some history information from these guys. Um, because when I pulled them in over here, uh, there's this history section and we just hit yes, we want to store history on this. That's really all it takes to pull history in. So after you have this connected, uh, those devices and those tags are available. If you have an external OPC UA server, if you're using Kepware, if you're using RS Lynx, if you're using uh, Matricon, uh, you can connect up to that from new OPC uh, connections, either OPC UA or OPC Com, DA, Classic, whatever you want to call it. Um, we have support for connections to both. And then we also have MQTT support, which is an IIoT protocol. Uh, if you're not familiar, it's probably a good idea to become familiar. Um, IIoT, uh, Industrial Internet of Things, is one of those technologies that's really changing the landscape of the industry. And so if we wanted to connect up to servers through this, um, we already have a connection out here to uh, an MQTT server that's online. This could be on-premise or online, doesn't really matter. If I create a new MQTT server, in this case, um, I will connect up to one that we have with uh, one of our onboard partners, uh, Opto22 uh, has a broker that's out there and we could connect up to this guy. So this is TCP chariot.groove.com 1883. And then I can pick the type, it's a chariot type and give it a username and a password here and verify that password. And this ends up uh, doing a connection out. Now when I switch over to my designer and I take a look inside the designer, I have access to all the tags that are out here. So take a look at all providers right over here. And we go to MQTT engine and expand this out. We have a whole variety of edge nodes that are available uh, from the brokers that I'm connected to. And if you're using an IAOT type of infrastructure, this information comes through right away. This is connected Alan Bradley's here, for example. Got some demo centers that have epics that are sending information back on a regular basis. We can just drag these out to the screen and see these values. And if any of them are changing inside here, we'll see them changing as part of this uh, process here. Uh, the strategy is what's running on these and you can see quality as well uh, so if these are disconnected they'll come through as red like this tank right here um, if they are connected um, live then you'll see real values that are coming through super lightweight protocol so um, this is uh, one of those ways that you can connect to really large infrastructures have millions of tags uh, that are easily accessible and that you don't even need to do extra configuration to pull into ignition uh, it's one of the nice new technologies that has really come onto the market recently. Uh, we're based on a bunch of open standards. Um, we have a lot of different options for connectivity. If you're connecting out to RESTful web services or you're connecting to external software systems or ERPs or MESs, uh, that's all things that we put a lot of effort into trying to make as easy as possible inside the Ignition platform.